MVP, they need to answer to the split push, and they might go with another ultra comfort pick. Mm. Does cancel it there as maybe he sees, okay, I should be safe. Okay, here comes Max, the flash knockup. The flash here from Death, looking for that hook, and actually he grabs Mana, who does block him, and the turnaround here, Scores coming down into bot lane, looking for that first blood, there it's gonna be. He wants more too with red buff here, but there's the teleport coming in from Ed. Deft and Mata extremely low, no flash. Actually, that was Ian, not Ed. He's able to pick up the kill onto Deft, who did not have his flash, so they will trade one for one. I mean, that is to be expected. Kennen, one of the big popular lane bullies in the meta right now. Ian trying to trade here, actually. The Sonic Wave lands, and really nice play there. Good follow-up from beyond to pick up that kill. Mata and Deft have been sitting in this brush for so long. Mata not level six just yet, but Deft is. Looking for a pick, they have a ward that spots Max. Let's see how they want to play this here. Gonna get the root onto Mata, and immediate exhaust has come out. The flash should be able to save his life unless the follow-up flash, but the knock-up from Max! Maybe able to save his life with the hook! Max is able to take him out with a huge play to save Maha's life! And that was such a big turnaround right now for MVP. Frees up all the pressure down in bottom lane score. Nowhere around to make anything happen in mid or top lane, so. Just the timing and the presence of mind to know that the flash is coming out of death. He sits right where the flash is and knocks him up. Either way, we have another fight coming in here. The teleport for me in and score getting incredibly low. Not able to pick up Ed. Another couple of kills going over to MVP. Oh, score. In going in and there it is. The hook on Tabata too, he's gonna go down. Can KT follow this up though? Maha getting pretty low, but here comes Ed, the big knock up onto score. Beyond going in onto the big kick. Smet though going in 1v4, trying to get those big stuns off, will get chained. Max getting very low, but does survive. Ed now all alone. Looks like he will be another casualty. Beyond, meanwhile, is kind of just awkwardly in the dragon pit. I don't think he has a way out. Unless he can hit Smet, it looks like he tries to go on score. It's not gonna happen. That's pretty gigantic for KT. Winning that fight nets them another Infernal Dream. Yeah, that is a enormous victory for them. They outmuscle MVP inside of that team fight. It looked like it was actually going to go really good for MVP. Now they're looking for some plays down in bottom. Max. Oh, really nice chain there onto Max. He is gone. If KT take another decisive flight, like in game number one, they can easily look to just shred through that Baron. Yeah, no doubt. Now they're looking for another pick onto Max. Tries to flash the knockup, it's not gonna happen. But look at the play onto Deft, he's getting very low. Max is still alive, that's two kills to MVP. Score able to follow up, and no doubt he'll pay for it with his life. Maha able to pick up a double kill in the fight, and MVP turns that one on its head. They're looking for some sort of a cheese. Dragon's on the map and, well, hold that thought. Ooh, Tate misses, but the arrow will hit. The grab gets Mata, who unfortunately is in front for him. And he will get picked. Where waves just keep getting bounced in. Smeb! Oh, he's going in. And will he be able to pick up that kill? This is pretty close. That last auto attack, though, will take down Ian, who just got locked up by the stun, it seemed. And Smeb saw blood in the water, picks him up. They're going to be relying so heavily uh, once again, even more so on picks. And speaking of that, another arrow comes up here on the score. Knock up, he will flash away, and the hook misses Mata. So it's not enough, but oh. actually Beyond going in for the play, but the Hex Drinker is enough to keep him alive. And this might turn around. Exhaust onto Ian means not a lot of damage coming out of him. Ian, or rather, Ed is going to go down. That's two people now going down here. Maha's going to be caught as well. A double kill going over to Pawn, and MVP totally routed in this fight, just trying to run away with their lives. And this was another situation just like in game number one. Ed, a little bit too quick to pull the trigger, didn't get the knockup onto score, and he was able to live with a sliver of HP. KT, yet again, just like game number one. Super quick, decisive Baron call. Beyond, he's done it before. Max, <laughs> he's done it before. Surely, let's see exactly how they want to pull this off. The smoke screen comes down and goes beyond, but that's going over to KT. A third Infernal Drake. That is gigantic at this point in the game. And I can't see a scenario in which MVP can stop this push. 
The hook misses. Ian is on the left side. And actually, it's not seen here. He wants to go for that assassination on Tamana. Will it be enough? Not quite. The Redemption will keep him alive. Meanwhile, Mana Smep. is going in onto Smep. Smep may be going a little bit too far. So a big pickup there for MVP, but Ed, oh man, he just gets burst down there by score and pawn. Trying to do whatever damage he can there after he dies, but that's just not enough. And maybe just underestimating the amount of damage that pawn and score can do at this point in time. That's going to be first inhibitor going over to KT. I mean, if they win this series tonight and they move on to face Samsung and then SK Telecom, if they make it that far, is they can't let themselves get into some of the positions that they've been in tonight in this series against MVP. They still, they're not done with this one yet. Oh, big pull onto Pawn. Can they actually follow up with enough damage? Pawn able to give his own damage, and Ed charging on in. He's going to be melted. Big knock up there, though. Ian's going on in. Big what? by Beyond. It's a huge knock up, but Smet coming in from behind. Looks like those Infernal Drakes really paying off. The teleport actually out on the right side, another big what? pull as this is now 2v2 at the end of it all. <laughs> so this is just what we were talking about a minute ago. KT, they made a decision. They end up coming out ahead. They get a Nexus turret. They're going to get another inhibitor. What happens if they didn't have those three Infernal Drakes and this gold lead? This is going to be triple Infernal. It's going to be bolstered by Elder if it gets to that point. Oh, Smeb went way too far forward. He might be punished here for it. Beyond not quite able to follow up, though. He does survive. Big knock up onto all the members of MVP. And huge damage coming out onto Max. Pawn able to finish that one off. It almost looked like Smeb was going to go down right there. But he ends up staying alive. And now KT ulting into the base. And they're, they're saying that they want to end the game right now. It's going to be interesting. Double uh, Super Minion. Oh, the big plays by Beyond trying to kick him in, but Def able to flash away from that one, and they're going to turn this one around hugely. Pawn the very low. Ian trying to make something happen. Smeb wants to get that kill. The Gunblade, though. Maha trying to turn this around and trying to be a hero with Ian. But look at that Nexus. It's getting low. That's going to be it. Game number two to KT. And KT finally managed to close that game